All right, let's get this started here. All right, folks, so welcome to the uh, June edition of our town hall. Uh, I'm just going to do a kind of an update on to what we're looking at in terms of the summer months as we do these town halls. So I really want to get these town halls cut down to just half an hour during the summertime because people need to get out, get some sun, especially if you're in an area that actually gets darkness at night where I am not. Um, so I want to keep these down to about half an hour of speaking points. And as well as if there's questions, uh, that's fine. Those can be bolt-ons after the actual meeting itself. And that's not an issue. I'll stick around for those for sure. Um, so anticipate that, especially for the leadership, we're going to be doing a lot of less uh, actually voice meetings unless there's something absolutely urgent. Um, you're going to just try to get into using uh, brevity in, in points and as well as text for anything that's not uh, not warranting of a, a deeper discussion or deep dive, which text is just not suitable for. Um, so we can anticipate that to happen all the way up till. Uh, I envision around the September October time frame. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, personally, I'm think I'm looking at taking a vacation sometime around September October because um, that's my quiet season ish. Not really, but so we'll see. Uh, more to follow on that, but ex anticipate these town halls to be relatively short and just kind of to the point. So the roll ups are going to be a little bit lighter, um, especially with what we have coming on OSN. But we'll get to that after on after on. So what I will say for now is we've got a lot of work still happening in the background. There's quite a few things being done in terms of um, the logos, the fanfare and all that kind of jazz, as well as the next phase, looking at actually doing the website. There's no anticipated end date for the website. Just know that it's still part of my um, fisc or my calendar year is to get that complete. So that's pretty much the largest bound for myself personally is to work on that. And so it's going to take a lot of uh, pretty much a big deep dive into uh, getting that linked in with the Discord is one of the things I want to do because there's a lot of bots and a lot of things that can really make um, our request system a lot more synced up and easier to see who's got what in terms of like Bastion polls, Colossus polls, events and things like that, where we can have a submission form and have it automatically put on a calendar as well as an update through the OSN. So. I won't get too deep into that. I like to keep a lot of things a surprise, as you all know, and watch them gloriously flop because I can't stream or something absolutely silly and ridiculous. Um, so that's that right now. But in the last month, we've had a few events that have been run by our junior members, which is absolutely fantastic to see. We're seeing continuation of the air training. Uh, good examples yesterday, Creosis's uh, Colossus fight and training event essentially we're looking to get those to be more of a bigger thing because colossus is something that sits in our armory uh, i personally love it but we just don't really use it as often and so seeing more and more people that are junior getting hands on the colossus getting hands on the bastion and certain to really establish uh, our own ttps on how to operate those is fantastic um, but before i get into anything like that i do want to recognize a few people we've have Basically, our graduating class of the OA, officially the Authors Academy. Um, so there's been a lot of work in the background by Prozan, Avakadu, and the staff, the trainers of the Authors Academy specifically. Uh, Tayashi, the admin side, fun, fun. And we've got some good up-and-comers that are going to be promoted today. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go down the list. Um, so for the first promotion to Swarmlord is Jinxie. Uh, Jinxie is one of our, our hardworking guys. Uh, he is going to be one of the, the owners of the Air Academy as that gets rolled out. Um, but this one has been a long time coming. Uh, he does take a lot, of, a lot of steps forward on his own accord, which is absolutely what I want to see for junior leadership because it allows us to divert our attention at the senior level Charging and we can battery. rely on our junior guys to make the right decisions and all they need is the support to actually make it happen in terms of uh higher authorities so congrats to jinxie everybody can unmute or do whatever they need to to spam them i prefer dms but the, the chat in the uh jinxie boy i call him jinxie just because yes i can congrats so look forward to seeing your inputs on the high command side of the house as we start rolling forward with our 
further with our OA or our academy system in general. So the next person that uh, this guy, Make he's been in kind off. of in the background. But he's one of our strong platoon platoon leads. Uh, you see him drifting in and out doing his shit. And I absolutely love having him around. And that is VSX Blade. Um, congrats. That's just, that's a swarm lord promotion. Um, and I just, he, he's a strong platoon leader, adaptable, uh, and just one of our good, one of our good up and comers as well. I don't. Boys, fail me. Um, there's. I will go flat. Flat. No, congrats. Uh, Thank you and so, so there's a lot of there's a lot of expectations that happens when you get put into a um, swarm alert position. Largely being that the you are now allowed access to a lot of things. So for everybody getting the swarm alert promotions today, the next one I want to throw under the bus will be Suez Canal. Suez is a uh, Coined as a bright personality for sure, um, but it's definitely one of the guys I like in the casual side of the house. For sure. he is, I I just when I seen him, I love being uh, kind of just enjoying the the relaxed state of things. Right? I don't have to. It's not one of those. It's not one of those things where you see a lack of professionalism or effectiveness. Um, just because it's casual, he manages to pull both together and absolutely makes it a great time. And so congrats to us. I thought he was in here. I don't see him. Nope. My God. I need a different list. I hate the list system. I wish I could turn it into like a top down, just like the memory. There he is. Okay, if you see him, I invited you to speak, Suez. Perfect. Bring up where's Waldo? <laughs> there he is. I can't drag him up against his will. No, and I hate that. So, Suez, if you want to get the access to speak, all you do is click on Town Hall Meetings. Uh, in the top right, it'll give you the yes-no uh, approval to jump up here. If you want to have any words to say. Or if you're not comfortable with that, that's perfectly okay. I see Suez typing, so. I think I think he's making a uh, a novel now. Uh, some <laughs> no give a speech, so he's giving us a written speech. Suez, do you have anything you wanted to say, or? Probably like, I have no idea. Okay, I'll tell you what. If there's anything you want to say, um, you can accept the the invite to come up to stage. We'll do the next promo, and if you have anything you want to pop up, you can you can say it after that. But congrats. Okay, and so our final promotion to Swarm Lord, Creosis. So Creosis has been in the last few months, even before that, one of the regular guys who will come on, uh, pump out a platoon, and I've had to tell them tell him a couple times to fucking take a break because he'll lose his mind, and then he'll miss leading. So he genuinely loves leading people, and he has been dedicated to trying to get platoons rolling, Hello? especially during downtime. Oh my god. Okay, I've been invited to speak for some okay. reason. So I'll give you a pause. I'm going to finish on a little creosis. And oh, I then, can't hear uh, One sec. What the heck is going on here? All right. It's all good. He'll figure it out. But anyway, creosis, before I go on a big diatribe, well done. Um, this, this is definitely one that uh, has been we've been watching uh, for quite a while now. Um, especially like dedication alone uh, and reliability on Creosis' side. Um, I just can't think of anyone else at that level that I would want to put forward into this position um, just simply on those merits alone. 
but you could see him online regularly leading one of our consistent leaderships in the game, which I absolutely love to see, especially when uh, there is just kind of burnout and a lot of us are waiting for the updates and things like that. It's good to have those backstops like I was saying, and Krios is definitely one of those guys that's there. Um, so, Sue, as are you able to talk? Can you hear yourself? I can hear both myself and uh, everyone else now. Technical difficulties have been resolved. I'm sorry for putting in. No worries, man. So if you want to say anything about the promo, this is your the floor is yours. This is your time. Any day now. Um, hmm. Um... I don't have anything to say. I actually was not getting, I was not expecting a promotion because I haven't been around in a month because my life's been all kinds of screwed up uh, with going back to work after my injury and everything. Um, but I, I appreciate it. I love you all and um, I'll be around more uh, in the coming weeks. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's one thing I do want to say as well. Um, obviously, my priorities, especially for the outfit, is making sure real life is first and foremost. So for everybody trying to get concerned that maybe your real life is going to hold up your promotion, um, yes and no. If it's merited, I uh, we're trying to get into promotion cycles. So and those cycles are essentially by month right now, depending on the rank. Um, but for the most part, really trying to push those promos up by a cycle. So if one's not put into a cycle or we are looking at past merit or what have you, um, this is a perfect example, right? So real life had to take over, but it didn't uh, hold back any seniority in that sense, especially so f within our outfit uh, leadership, which is important to me because what you'll see is after you get into senior leadership, you hit elite command. Um, you really start seeing deep burnout just because it took a lot of work to do things to get to that position and you're working and then you re and then it just hits you like a, a fucking brick to the face. Um, and it, you can't do much about it, right? You just got to mitigate that by dealing with other things. And that's why we also have the backbone and the size that we do in terms of people because of one person is out, another person can fill in those positions, right? So, okay, but congrats to us. And so now Krios is... You are invited to speak, and this is your chance to talk. Come to the well, uh, hello, and thanks. I uh, just got done eating, so I uh, don't really feel like talking too much. And I have a horrible way with words. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well. You'll be running town halls in no time. Okay. Well, unless you got something else you wanted to say. Well, the reason I lead so much is because I get very bored when I'm not. Just... Perfect. <laughs> Anything else to say on that? Nope, but congrats. Um, so what I anticipate is seeing you lead more and now have actual asset. Wait, how, how, how can I lead any more than I already do? I don't know. So you're sold to Higby? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we I all did it. Join the Cool Kids Club. You got yourself <laughs> a, a shit bucket? Uber was on automatic. <laughs> all right. That is true. Um, okay. But congrats. So congrats to our graduating class of uh, the first uh, syndicate, the OSN. And some of the things we are looking to do to improve the OSN. So Vox, floor is yours, my friend. Lovely. Thank you, Uber. Uh, quick apologies to everyone in advance. I'm about 10 hours short on sleep. I've been a camp counselor in the last weekend unexpectedly chasing after little kids. It's a lot of fun, but it's exhausting. So I'm going to ramble a little bit. I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as I can. We kind of tried to squeeze them together, and uh, the, the results were more than a little bit messy. 
So we're doing one more rework of our ping and notification system uh, working in OSN. What this is going to look like on your guys' end. Um, OSN is getting split up a little bit, so we have three categories. Uh, we have the main Orbital Strike news, which will be going out every week. We're going to have a subcategory for quick events that we don't have time to put in OSN or uh, need to be reinforced or edited uh, called Flash News. Uh, you can expect a message from that channel on average about once a day. And then we have our operations channel, which is staying unchanged. Our operations channel is going to be used every time we start a squad, a platoon, or the start of an event. So that uh, if you're wondering what's going on in games or in game right now, you can look at operations and see who's on, what's running, what's happening. With these changes, we're absorbing outfit news and academy news into OSN. Um, they were test categories. Um, our go and then OSN, we are going to start using an at everyone ping for, which I know are controversial. This will be going out once a week, Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern, every week. And the goal of that is to keep people looking at the server, seeing it's going to happen. It's also that this is going to be our only course of action for at everyone pings. We have a bad history with them where they've become overused or low quality. In this case, it means that at everyone pings are going to be filtered through the OSN staff so that when they reach out to you, we get the information as condensed and as valuable as possible. And again, it's at a regular interval, so it's not catching you by surprise. With this, we're also changing our event planning and submission. If you are a member of SKL Command or an allied outfit at any level, uh, you're going to get more information from the, me in the near future as we're going to be setting up an event planning channel uh, and a way for both our leaders and our allies to pull events um, into OSN and into our system. And also, hopefully in the near future, a little bit further out, we're going to be reworking Zilla so that there are two ticket systems so that anyone uh, can submit an event through that and it can get on the schedule and get out with the at everyone thing. Uh, just while we're able to work with you to get the information we need and maybe help get your event off the ground so that you don't need to be a member of leadership to help run events for the outfit. I'm really excited about the change. I've been working on this system with a bunch of people for over a month. Uh, Thank yous to Uber, Zavericks, Kaztar, Ty, <laughs> um, yeah, Prozan, Horace, uh, uh, my staff, uh, unknown Sal, Deal isn't here. Um, lovely people. I'm I'm really excited to be finally given this to you. Enemy Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So the reason we're making this bigger push for the OSN is, is because we've got a good team of folks that are really putting the time in to do it. And it allows, us, like Spock said, to standardize a lot of the messaging, as well as it be the one compendium of information and source of all things that are happening via SKL. Uh, it'll be formalized. It'll allow people just to go to one source instead of jumping channels. And with that, you'll see as... The Vox alluded to the ping changes. So with the at everyone ping, it is going to be once a week. But in addition, there's going to be some uh, role changes as well. We've got OSN staff that are taking uh, position now at various ranks. So if you're interested in joining the OSN and helping staff it, get a hold of Vox. It's good. It's the kind of thing I look for when it comes to leadership as well. Um, and we're also going to be having flash news roles. So if there's any quick roll-ups or anything that you want to be updated on or you want to be part of like information as it changes, all the pings for that will be coming through the flash OSN news roll. And that'll allow you to see date changes, time changes, event, um, anything that has to do with the OSN that can't wait for the weekly roll-ups. Um, and so a lot of the things you're going to see change and a lot of the things you're going to see uh, is just stuff that we've examined over the last couple months after um, having OSN launch formally and just looking at the activity and just ways and we can improve it and make it an uh, enduring part of the SKL 
system in our, our daily ops. So that's all I'm going to put on that. Now I'm going to talk about the NS stuff. So this is the part I'm really excited for, as a lot of you are. Um, the NS is going to add a new bit of life to planet side for a good little bit, just like Escalation and the changes to Esamir, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but the big thing and big concern was it is folks that are worried about the... Um, like the leadership side of it. If they have an NS operative character, um, is it going to affect anything of leadership? And so the we've had a, a pretty detailed discussion of the leadership side of the house on this. And what it boils down is this. You're going to have access to one NS character and one SKL character that you could apply your leadership level to. So what that means is if you, let's say, are Vox and, or Prozan or whoever, and you create an NS character, that NS character is going to have the perms as long as you're in SKL applied to them for the leadership level of SKL and for that one NS character. So if you get promoted, your alt character gets promoted. Now, this could get a little bit crazy, especially when we do the, if it's rolled out before the next town hall, you know, the next wave of promotions. Um, you might have to just let the people promoting you know what the name of your NS folk is because it, it, it just get hard to keep up. So the formal promotion will always come on the SKL Vanu side of the house versus the NS side to catch up. However, for people who just start and join SKL as NS only, um, they can always create a Vanu character, but I'm not going to have it where you have to have both. If you want to join SKL as an NS person, you are an SKL, and as far as I'm concerned, you're an SKL member, and you can ride the leadership chain just the same. Okay? Um, so that should hopefully uh, ease any concerns about getting promoted and advancing in SKL as the NS system rolls out, which we're all kind of waiting on bated breath for. Um, okay. So that kind of wraps up the major speaking points I have. Um, I'm not going to do a detailed monthly roll-up just because we are in such a good state in terms of the things that we have happening. Look at the OSN. The OSN's posted historics. Um, it just shows the activity we have. And I would be labor uh, and go beyond my intent for today uh, if I was to cover each thing. But... That being said, I kind of want to have people get primed as to what we're going to have happen. And so one of the major events that we're going to be doing um, is the Air Academy. I'm not going to release any details or anything on that. I'm just going to say look out for that. And as well as I'm going to hand over to Avakadu because he's got some things he wanted to release as well. So Avakadu, the floor is yours, my friend. Just a quick update on two things that are happening this coming month in July. The first is that, at least for all intents and purposes, the chess tournament that was supposed to happen with 2 RAF has been tabled indefinitely. That may come up in August again, but don't expect to see that next month. What you should expect to see next month is an exciting event that I'm currently planning. That I affectionately like to call the Week of Woe. That is week of W-H-O-A and W-O-E. I hope you come out to that. It will be an exciting week-long event of Daily Ops where we execute my old... No, I said that wrong. We operate... I'm, I'm lost for words. Basically, what we're going to be doing is training anti-logistics, anti-spawn operations, anti-construction, anti-everything. It'll be an attempt to teach you skills, tactics, and ideas to leverage fights that improve the main outfit's ability to take bases by fighting off base. It sounds very weird. This will include stuff like destroying spawns. This will include stuff like denying air cover, denying armor at their source instead of in the field. Some of the tactics that come out have already been a part of SKL as part of our old divisions, like the Ghosts, the Raptors, the Grenadiers, 
sometimes the anti-construction unit, they will be rolled into this week of woe, and there will be events happening every single day. I hope you look forward to it. Perfect. Okay. All right, Uber, if you don't mind me saying just a couple things about academies. Please um, take the time you need, my friend. <laughs> All right, everybody, good afternoon. This is Tayashi here. Uh, so we've got some really exciting news coming up for the academy system now. As you all know, we have about a month out or so until Air Academy launches. I am pleased to say that this process is now in Jinx's hands and my time has been freed up. So now we're going to talk about the next two academies that are going to roll. And this, we're going to do this in a little bit of an interesting way. The next two academies that are going to roll are the Infantry Academy and the Armor Academy. I am now actively accepting applications to head up both academies. Now, as the general rule of thumb, you can't head up multiple academies. You have to pick one or the other. Now, I'm going to be training the heads for these academies simultaneously. And whichever academy is ready first, rolls first. From now on, we're looking to roll out an academy once a month. So, for those that apply, if armor is ready first, armor rolls next. If infantry is ready next, infantry rolls next. Now, as you guys know, there are planned to be five academies in total. The Officer's Academy that's already launched, the Aerial Academy that launches this coming month, the Armor Academy, the Infantry Academy, and then finally we'll launch the Construction Academy. Now, in regards to the criteria that you need to meet to be an Academy head if you want to apply, you either A, have to be a Swarm Lord, or B, you have to be in your final days of your training as a Swarm Lord to be able to apply. Now, as to the number of people I am accepting, I am accepting one applicant for the head of the Armor Academy. And because the Infantry Academy is going to be the core of what SKL is, because, let's face it, we are the Swarm, it, we're never going to escape that name. It is going to be the biggest academy of all of them, and we're going to have three heads of the academy. Uh, in answer to your question, Trim, you must be an SKL regular in order to be a, an Academy head. You must be solely devoted to SKL. Uh, so if you're wanting to do just infantry leadership or infantry training, then you'll go ahead and sign up to the Officers Academy documents like normal. And the way we're going to handle that now is there is still the old Google document forms. However, as we migrate databases, we're going to move away from that. So keep your eyes posted on the Orbital Strike news channels. Sometime around July 9th-ish, the migration will be complete and new forms will be posted. As for academies, that's all. Nice. Okay. While you're doing that, I had to restart my Discord because, like all things, I want to end with a little bit of a teaser. I didn't think I was going to show this, but I decided to. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. I found out what happened last time is I was in an administrative mode, so I had to enable that. So I can't share my screen in this fucking town hall meeting, apparently, if I remember right. So I'm going to move up in this. This will preclude the end, so I'm going to move to Hangout. And I'm going to stream. Actually, no, I'm going to do the questions first before I do it. We'll get through the questions. You know, we, as with everything, we will actually have proper forms for signing up for every single role within the academy system, not just officers. Uh, yes, we'll post the link here later on. All right, Trim, your, your question's already been answered. All right. Uh, the Blood Burrito says, will there be other chances to get promoted? Yes, absolutely. Um, so I will address the promotion things. Um, the best description I'm going to have on it is like Forge and Fire. There were certain characteristics that I have that I'm looking for in leadership, as well as certain characteristics that 
Um, some people have displayed in, in the past that all they need to do is get some checks in the box. So not to pin anyone down or send anybody specifically, uh, some of you I've talked to directly and you understand um, why we've had a talk. And those may be things that may preclude you from being promoted at this time, but that doesn't take you out of the running. It just means it's a, it's a point to learn and a point to improve and to understand and take as a lesson. So just so folks can understand that this is, this is more of um, a close knit race because at the same time we're promoting based on merit uh, actions done in the past, but we're also uh, not trying to just promote everybody at the exact same time. If some people are in different stages, uh, we want this to be a structure in sense that once you hit the checks in the box and unfortunately not all of these checks in the box will be released to the people going the training. Uh, once you hit elite command, you'll understand what those are, but not when you're at the high command level. The reason being is there is, let's just say expectations that I will impose on the future leadership because I don't want the, I don't want to have to have to deal with issues from folks just because there was a, a oversight as to some characteristic issues or character issues. And I know this is sound absolutely God awful, horrible. All I'm just saying is keep working at it and you will be promoted. It just, if you weren't promoted this cycle, just, you just got to keep working at it. That's all. That, that's all I'm going to go into that. So <laughs> nothing crazy. Great. Question from Duty S one two three four five says, "How many fewer announcement channels would there be after OSN is condensed?" The announcement channels will be basically trimmed down. I think we're we're taking the, uh, I believe it's the Academy announcement system is going to be rolled into the OSN as well as the outfit news. If I'm not mistaken, it's kind of in flux. I'll be honest. Vox can talk to it better than I can. Yes. So, OSN outfit news are going away as they currently stand. They're kind of they're getting combined so that we will have OSN. Beneath that, we're going to have Flash news and our daily operations as they exist. We're going to leave developer news alone because that works well as a standalone channel, um, and it works well as a standalone ping. Uh, so, if that answers your so if I'm counting that way, that is still four. It's kind of rearranging. The goal is not to shrink. Um, the reason we're reordering the information is OSN is going to come out. It's kind of like how much information do you want to take at once? So OSN is going to come out once a week. And if you're involved or associated with SKL, we're going to format OSN so that it's relevant to you. Um, Flash News is, like I said, going to come out uh, on average once a day. That's opt-in. Um, because uh, once a day is a lot already, and uh, that's when we need to schedule an event on short notice, edit an existing event, and draw your attention to it. Um, or there's yeah, or there's an event that we really need to get the word out before the next Friday. Um, finally, operations is also an opt-in because my vision of that is it's being used hourly. Basically, every time we start a squad or a platoon, you do an announcement in game and you throw an operations thing. All right, is that all? Yes. Uh, that's uh, all the music. Okay. So, question from Tutorboo: uh, Warpig seems to be targeting targeting us. We have a counter idea on how to deal with them only going for us. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this one, and I'm going to shoot this question in the head so it's dead and it never comes up again. So here's the thing. War pigs isn't that big of an issue. They're a bunch of, you know, a bunch of salty shitters that do their thing. They're good at armor and that's what they do. The answer to the answer strategy to that is simply get involved in the academies, learn the meta of your playstyle, and then when you meet them on the field, shoot them in the face. I'll I'll also do a plug cuz I see we have a friend from outside in here. I'm going to say they're not better than WSC at armor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see the hand come up. <laughs> there you go. All right, and then uh, last question that I saw was from Shadow. The colors actually follow the the rarity scheme of MMOs. The only difference is that Legionnaires simply just aren't white. So you have green for commons, blue for rares, 
purple for you know mythics, uniques, or legendaries, what have you, and we just don't go high enough to use orange is all. Interesting take, that's for sure. Um, so I'm getting poked about the promotion thing, so I might have misspoke. I'm going to address that again. So look, I'm only promoting so many people at one time, um, and it's just a matter of making that fine line to hit that promotion level. So it doesn't mean you're junk and you got to go away and you got to hit, you know, you're going to Siberia and a work camp on leadership. It just means there's something that you didn't stand out for or um, it, 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 who knows what it is. Maybe you have to put your foot forward a little bit more. I don't know. There is. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I want to I'm going to leave it in the hands of the OA staff to um, just because they keep their eyes on everybody who's in the training system. And I want to make sure that that's still within their AOR in that sense. So all I'll say is if you weren't promoted now, that doesn't mean you won't be promoted in the future. Mike, I'll give you a chance to speak. <laughs> How do you deal with pigs? Um, well, pigs, we just roll our armor column to the VSTR fight and kill pigs. And if you guys get in the way, we shoot you as well. But we try and go after pigs. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, just general comments. I've been in attendance this whole time um, to you guys from an outsider, so to speak. Um, I'm excited to hear all this as an enemy because... Um, we always knock on you guys. I know we do in particular. I know other outfits knock on you guys. And I, I, I like seeing, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm hearing. And uh, I'm excited to see more leadership on your guys' side because it's going to make the fights more interesting. And uh, I hope to see you guys on Monday nights, whoever ends up doing your armor. Nice. That's glad to hear. Like the, this game's community is built on the fights, right? It's a PvP game, and it we're, we're not all meant to be friends in the sense of the game side, but if we just have a good community sense, I think the competition. I think it's awesome. So um, thanks for coming, the, Mike. That's yeah. for sure. And the people you promoted, uh, quite a handful of them, I recognize because I've been playing my NSO character and been in those squads with those leaders, and I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. So I can even vouch as an outsider that. Those were good choices. There you have it, folks. Thanks for having me. Perfect. Uh, and it looks like final question that I can personally see is from Trimixing. It says, question, games for Cerebrate? You kidding? Games? No. Get out of here. There was a previous question by Zeusifis EVS. He just didn't put the question thing on here. I've got it on the reply. Uh, Zeusifis, uh, any guidelines for promos, like a time in the outfit or a minimum battle rank? So, there's no minimum battle rank. There's no real minimum time. You... So what we do is we take a, a handful of our applicants that we believe are at the caliber that we're looking for. And unfortunately, we can't really reveal specifically what criteria that we're you're training you for or testing you for. That's simply because we don't want you to pretend that you have those qualities and then try and mimic them in such a way that you slip through the system and then end up not being quite a good fit for the role that we place you in. And, you know, that that's one, uh, a, a reputation issue on the side of SKL, but also we want to make sure that you're fully ready to step into the position when you go. You know, we don't want to put that blue tag on you and then people look to you for leadership now and say, wait, why doesn't this guy actually know? Like, like, come on. So that that's why we want to make sure that, you know, you're fully ready when we say you're ready. That way, when people look to you for guidance, there's no need to question, you know, that you know what you're doing, that you have that experience. And we, we keep the group small. That way, we make sure that we only put through the best of the best in the current program. So that, that's not to say that some of you aren't already encroaching on Swarm Lord material territory. It's just that for this specific rotation, you weren't quite at the top of the list. So keep working hard. Focus, study, ask questions, reach out. The more you engage, the more noticed you are. Here in SKL, you are what you make yourself. 
you will go as far as you put the effort in to go. I, I would like to say that myself, I am a shining example of that. I went from being a legionnaire to a cerebrate in the course of five months. So, and you know, you guys know how awkward I am. Anyone can do it. So work hard. So folks as well, um, I know people are saying some folks are cerebrate, some folks, so whichever. So there's also, we can't get top heavy, right? There has to be more people that are kind of coming through at the right time of their play, the right time they hit the actual training marks to get promoted for us to start promoting other people up in the thing. Uh, the reason I, I'm not going to start promoting people just by hit firing because I want to make sure we have the quality and leadership. Um, so, folks, just to, just to make it clear that I'm very particular with who comes in here because there's been a lot of collapsing. It, we see it all over the planet side world and you see it just in general like outfits collapse just because someone had My a bad day shit. all right that's what he did and i have the sound matched come on folks you're failing me here you gotta help the guy i'm gonna send you the link to ashley you set this okay. shit up fuck's sakes uh 10 more seconds before i hit play Looks like it's just the five that are currently watching. All right, here you go. And that's that. Okay. There you go. So that is the teaser for the OSN. Um, most likely going to be used, I think on the website is how I'm going to employ it, but I don't know. We'll figure out something. Um, uh, don't expect like some sort of like fucking radio or news broadcast, like something you'd see at a like fucking red, red storm or some sort of craziness, right? This is just something that I wanted to do because it's also kind of the initial project for a couple of the other things I'm looking to do. So, uh, I'd like to add that right now yeah as awesome as that is um we're not ready for it yet it's a distant dream to get audio and maybe even video versions of osm right now we're still working on getting the text document up to snuff getting everyone comfortable with it getting it used and streamlined so we're still doing basic logistics stuff once we all have that together and once my team is fully together and working guys the limit quite possibly Mm -hmm. so, so months, out, months out is what i'm saying but possible yeah like this is just to show some cool shit that and this to me was largely also a test for the the team that i got working on a lot of our projects um to see what they can really do especially when i give them a really half-assed description of some things and they knocked it out of the park